Hello and welcome to another video tutorial of the FEM software. In this uh, video, I am going to calculate another DC conduction problem. In the previous video, we calculated the current density in a rectangular cube. But in this uh, video, I am going to calculate the current density distribution inside this L-shaped object. So my aim is calculation of current density analytically and by finite element method and compare. So I am going to apply uh, one volt here and attach this uh, surface to the ground and calculate the current density inside this object as you can see here so as you know the first step is creation of the geometry let me open the fem software i am going to create another dc conduction problem current flow k so i press I select the point here, tab key zero and uh, excuse me, let me delete this point, tab key zero and zero according to this geometry, six and zero, tab six and six, tab. Uh, five and six, five and one, zero and one. So now let's create segments. This segment, this one, this one, this one, and finally this one. So we created the geometry. Uh, let's uh, save the file. I am going to create a new folder here. F E M M. So, real zero four. Right here, DC conduction L shape region. Okay. So now let's uh, assign the material label. I select uh, material label here, assign and uh, add Hooper. Right click, a space, copper, and OK. So the next step is definition of boundary conditions. Add I add V equal 1 fixed voltage, its value is equal 1. Add uh, V equal 0 fixed voltage, V equal 0. Add insulation boundary condition. Insulation here, surface current density, its value is equal 0. Okay. Okay, all of these faces are insulated. We don't have normal current on them. So now I select a segment, right click, space, V is equal 1 here, I right click, a space, V is equal 0, right click, a space, Insulation, uh, insulation here, insulation on this edge, and insulation on this edge. So now let's set the problem. The frequency is zero. This is a DC conduction problem. Depth is equal one, and the unit is centimeters. So everything is okay. Okay. Let's generate the mesh. 
solve the problem and view results so you can see the voltage distribution here in this problem the voltage here is uh, equal one and here is a zero so now if i plot the current density vector uh, with this scale you can see current distribution inside this object let me increase the scaling factor as you can see the value of current density is higher uh, uh, here relative amplitude of current vectors is higher here so this uh, shows that the current density is not uniform in this uh, region uh, okay so how we can calculate the amount of current here okay i am going to calculate the current density inside uh, this object at different locations so from view uh, from here point props uh, i select uh, point props and now if i click here as you can see the value of current density is uh, 5.49 if i click here it is 44 if I click here is 9.66, the current density in this region is uh, high. We have uh, a sharp edge here. And if I click here is 5.49. So the value of current density is not uniform in this region, right? So let's uh, calculate the current density using analytic method. The voltage difference is equal one. Depth of problem is uh, one. Widths actually uh, widths is the length of uh, this object. The length of current density path. Actually, this length. If I want to uh, show you visually, this one is uh, actually the mean length right uh, the mean length of current path so what is uh, uh, the value of uh, this uh, length this path this is uh, actually uh, this is 6 and we have uh, 5.5 .5 and 5.5 .5 here so uh, the value is uh, 11 height is 1 the conductivity is the same area resistance and current density so we calculated the value of current density equal to 5.27e plus 0.8. And in the software, the value of current density here is the same as our calculation. Close. Here is close, the value of current density. Because in these regions, the current density distribution is uniform. But here, is different right so this is important because current density distribution is a local quantity not a global quantity right so in analytic method we calculate the average value right not uh, the exact distribution but uh, what about the value of current here? We calculated 5.27. If I calculate the value of current crossing this uh, surface, uh, I can uh, 
compare it with my uh, analytic one so from here uh, in uh, result uh, tab i select uh, this segment object and uh, right click right click i draw this uh, line and i plot the value of j uh, here amplitude okay so you can see uh, the current distribution as you can see here the current uh, we have a uh, current density versus uh, length of this object is a constant for uh, this uh, cross section uh, this cross section and uh, actually uh, we can calculate the uh, value of current by multiplying this number by surface area actually this number so if you calculate the value of current for for example uh, for this intersection or for uh, this intersection you should get the same value of current for each intersection uh, you can uh, do it for practice and compare uh, so this is a uh, difference between the analytic methods and finite element method however we can match average values but uh, using finite element software we can calculate the exact distribution of local quantities like as current density distribution okay uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and let's continue in the next videos thanks for watching